Hello friends, this video on integers part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now again we come back to the same question that how these properties made multiplications easier because on the on one of the previous slides I told that okay if you want to calculate this 8 into 53 into minus 125 you need to do huge calculations but now I have to prove that how with the help of these properties this calculation is going to be sim simple. So let us now try to solve the same thing making use of properties. Now the question is 8 into 53 into minus 125. Now we do not want to do, may, do such big multiplications. So what we do? We just rearrange the integers. Now how do we rearrange? What we do is we bring minus 20, 125 before. So first we multiply 8 into minus 25 and then we multiply 53 with it. Why did we do this? Because 8 into 125 gives a very simple number with good number of zeros. So when you do, once you do this, you would see that it is 1000. This will have a minus sign. So minus 1000 into 53. Do you think that this is a huge calculation? No, this is very much simple. 53 multiplied by 1000 would be 53,000. So you really do not need to perform multiplications as such. So you see, you could find out the product in a very simple and easier way. And this saved your time as well. So this is how these properties will make our multiplications easier. So let us look at another example. Find the product minus 45 into 18. Now normally without making use of properties, how would you find this product? You would actually multiply 45 by 18. So you will get something like this 360 and then you get 45. So this becomes 810. Therefore you say that minus 45 into 18 is equal to minus 810. So this is how you do without making use of properties. Now let us make use of properties. So when you make use of properties, what you do instead of 18, you write it as 20 minus 2. 18 can be written as 20 minus 2. Now which property do you remember? So this is distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. So as per distributive property, this is equal to minus 45 into 20 minus minus 45 into 2. So 45 into 20, so 1 0, otherwise 45 into 2 is 90. So this is minus 900 minus 45 into 2 is again minus 90. So this is equal to minus 900 plus 90 which is equal to minus 810. So you see in this case, you do not need to perform the traditional way of multiplication. Just by simplifying with the help of properties, you can solve it. So this is a far more easy way when compared to the normal method. So based on whatever we have learned about multiplication of integers using properties, we will look at some of the questions now. Question number one, verify the following minus 21 into minus 4 plus minus 6 is equal to minus 21 into 4 plus minus 21 into 6. So basically what which property is this minus 20 a into b plus a into c. This is nothing but distributive property. So we have to prove this distributive property. So for that let us first calculate left hand side. So this is left hand side. So this is minus 21 into minus 4 plus minus 6. So minus 4 plus minus 6 that is equal to minus 10. So minus 21 into minus 10 will be equal to 210. Now let us calculate the right hand side. So this is right hand side. This would be minus 21 into minus 4 plus minus 21 into minus 6. So 21 into 4, this is 84 plus 84 plus this would be 126. So this is also plus 126. So this is equal to 210. Therefore, what do we see? We see that LHS is equal to RHS, hence verified. Question number two. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फॉर एनी इंटीजर ए वॉट इज माइनस वन इन टू एक्वल टू सो नाउ वॉट डू वी नो वी नो दैट वन इज मल्टीप्लीकेटिव आइडेंटिटी सो इफ यू हैव एनी इंटीजर ए मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ वन इट गिवस यू ए Now instead of one, if you have a minus one, what will happen? The product will still remain the same, just that now it will have a minus sign. Determine the integer whose product with minus one is minus twenty-two. So what is that integer which, when let's say I don't know the integer which, when multiplied with minus one, gives minus twenty-two. So as you saw here, whenever you multiply any integer with minus one, its sign changes. So that means the integer which you would have been multiplied with minus one must be the same integer with opposite sign. So basically, this integer would be twenty-two. Similarly, in order to get the product as thirty-seven, the integer should be minus thirty-seven. In order to get the product as zero, the integer should be zero because zero into minus one is equal to zero. Question number three: Find the product using suitable properties. Fifteen into minus twenty-five into minus four into minus ten. So here, what do we see? We see that we have three negative integers. So number of negative integers is even, is odd. Therefore, the net product will be positive. So the sign of the product would be positive. But how do we arrange it better? So we place fifteen and ten together because you know fifteen and ten when multiplied gives a number with more zeros, and that makes our calculation simpler. So we group them together, and we group minus twenty-five and a minus. Minus four together. So when you multiply these, you get minus fifty. You multiply these, you get hundred. So again, it became simpler. The result would be fifteen one two three zeros. So this would be minus fifteen thousand. And which property did we make use of? We made use of the associative property, which says that the grouping of the integers really do not matter. You can group them the way you want. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class six to twelve on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.